What up guys, your boy Quake, and just when you thought Drake hit his peak, he's back again dominating. Drake released his latest single, Nice For What, a week from now, and of course, a week later, the numbers are in. And with these numbers, Drake has broken multiple records, and it's insane. The song, Nice For What, debuted at number one, and Drake then became, because of that, the first artist to replace himself at the number one slot on the Hot 100 with songs that both debuted at number one. So to break that down, God's Plan debuted at number one when it first came out. That means it went straight to number one. It didn't go on any other number. It was straight number one. Same with the song Nice For What. It went straight to number one. And since he knocked himself out of the number one slot with singles that both debuted at number one, he's the first artist to ever do this. And on top of that, he's the 13th overall artist to replace himself at the number one slot since Justin Bieber in 2017. On top of that, Drake joined the Beatles, 50 Cent, and Justin Bieber as the only artist to have three songs in the Hot 100 Top 5 simultaneously because if you add the Black Boy JB song, Look Alive, that song is number five on the charts, and that's a top five. So he has three songs in the top five. And the only other, at least, rapper to do this is 50 Cent. In terms of all artists and all genres, the Beatles, 50 Cent, Justin Bieber, and Drake now are the only ones to do this. And that new accolade caught my attention because if you guys know, if you guys follow me on social media, I'm working on a new series called Who Was Bigger, where we focus on two artists. We pit them against each other, and we talk about who had the bigger career, who had the most impact in hip-hop culture, who, when they came out, dominated and decided to brand themselves bigger, who did what, and who did it better. And of course, Drake versus 50 Cent has always been the topic of discussion on Twitter, I've argued with a lot of people on both sides. I've defended Drake. I've defended 50 Cent. And it's going to be interesting when I do finish that video. And this, you know, accolade that Drake just got really caught my attention and now is going to be added in the video. So if you want to see that video, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't because it's going to be crazy. Have you ever been in a barbershop or with your friends or anywhere where people love music and they start debating it? This is going to be the video that you're going to direct people to because this is going to be all facts and no opinion. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, man. Do you guys think Drake is really earning these accolades or is it just streams helping him, you know, get these accolades a lot easier? I'm on the boat with the streams thing. Um, I think it's a lot easier for artists now to get number ones, to go platinum. I mean, YouTubers who have never made music are going platinum and are charting on the Hot 100. They might not go number one, but they're still on the Hot 100, which is crazy. But that's just my take on it. A lot of people thought Drake was on the decline and that he already hit his prime. But he's clearly proven that he hasn't hit his prime and he's doing even more than what he previously did. Drake also took this opportunity to announce that his new album is called Scorpion and it's dropping on June 2018. But yeah, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. If you want to support this channel further, you can do so at patreon.com backslash diverse mentality for just a dollar a month or more you can support this channel further a link is in the description below like comment share and definitely definitely subscribe i do videos like this daily on hip-hop news and who changed the music industry and much much more so definitely subscribe follow me on twitter and on instagram at quake gw like us on facebook and i'll see you guys in the next one peace